Okay, so let's see what we want. Right? First, let's take a look at the spectrum of the yellow piece of cellophane. Yellow piece of cellophane. Look at the spectrum. What do you see? What color corresponds to the peak wavelength? Is that what you expected? Mark it down on your lab manual, your lab report. Blue. Here's the blue piece of cellophane. Is this what we expected? Now, you see a second hump there, right? So take a look at what the colors are that you're seeing through the cellophane. Okay. And what you're seeing is in part, we're not really blocking out all of this peak. We're blocking out some of it. You really want to look and see what are we transmitting here? What wavelength is being transmitted by the blue cellophane? Is it what you expect? Here is the green cellophane. We're going to put it between the white light and the spectroscope. Whoa. What color corresponds to the peak wavelength? Is that what you expect? Finally, the promised, most exciting one. This is purple. Purple is not in the rainbow. That means there, it's not on the light tower. And that means we're going to see something different. What do you see? There's really two peaks now. There's a peak in the middle, but that just corresponds to the, the white LED, right? The one in the middle kind of corresponds to that. But what do we got? What are the, where are the two real peaks? The two peaks, what colors do those correspond to? Now, if you remember back to when you used watercolors as a kid, You'll remember that when you mix those watercolors together, well, if you mix too many together, like I did sometimes, I got marked down for it, right? Here, brown, some crappy color like that, right? But if you mix just a couple of colors together, you get purple. What were those colors? Mark this down in your lab report, and we'll move on to the next section.